I advise uh, to be able to make sure they have adequate staff. And Detroit is another one where we've learned an awful lot. And the entire Every one of these cities is different. As you have seen the curve, some are like spikes, some are plateaus, some are going maybe two or three weeks to the right, which gives us more time. Some maybe are not, and they're staying right about where they are. But we have to hand tailor every single bill to the actual date that we think the need is. There has not normally been any financial challenges here when we have a validated need coming from a city or a mayor. So we don't know what that number is going to be. And then the other thing later that's important here, we're beginning to run out of time. Uh, what we used to have is a month to build this and maybe a week or two for a mayor to make a decision. I think that we will probably be done starting new bills probably in a week. Now that depends on what the curve is. But this is not just going to continue to play out. And this virus gets the vote. This virus is deciding where it's going faster than normal, where it's leveling the curve. And so the actual build out schedule, we just kind of see how this thing actually has to play out. But what do you do with these facilities? And let's hope that we come down off these curves and all of a sudden we are in the uh, pick a month, June, July, August, whenever, where we can hopefully get back to normal. Then the question is, do we tear these back down or do we leave these up? And that is a question that uh, obviously FEMA is going to have to wrestle with, and I think the local and state government's going to have to wrestle with. I don't want you to think we're just waiting for the phone to ring. We have to be aggressive, and this is how this whole thing started. When Como asked us three weeks ago, hey, I need help in New York. When I flew back to uh, D.C. that night, we were smart enough to know that this is going to happen somewhere in America, all throughout the United States, and maybe it's the big, gigantic urban centers, Maybe it's a little tiny town that doesn't have a capability, but it's incumbent on every single elected official to be able to think through the depth of your shortage and then make sure that you're taking care of your people to have a good response. So